Hello Revolution Golfers, this is Martin Chuck and I'm at the beautiful Raven Golf Club Phoenix and I want to talk to you about why some of your shots may be starting to the right and I know that's frustrating but maybe you haven't thought of this. So I've got a target line down here and we're going to take a look here in a second at what can cause the face to be aiming to the right even though that leading edge right here may be very very square to the target line. Really really critical to understand this. A lot of you that have steep swings that come over the top inevitably raise the handle. In other words, you take the golf club and you, from its designed lie angle, and get the handle a little bit high. Well, what that does is it gets the face aiming to the right. Let's take a look at that now. Revolution Golfers, let's take a look at this from the top down. Here we have a square leading edge with a pointer on there that matches up that target line there. You can see it. Now if I raise this handle through impact, and even though that leading edge is square, look where that face is pointing. It's going to start the ball to the right. Really, really critical to understand this. So we could see how evident that was with the pointer on here. Now when the handle raises, you are actually aiming the loft on the golf club to the right. And you may be thinking that your face is perfectly square when in fact it's aiming to the right. So let's talk about how you are going to understand where the handle is and I'll give you a really simple drill on delivering the face more parallel to the ground rather than heel high which gets the loft aiming off to the right. So to help you understand your handle location and to get your handle working more appropriately for the lie angle of the club you're using we can use an aim stick and if you want to you can use a pool noodle on top of that aim stick and slide that pool noodle through or aim stick through rather and let's position Let's position this, and this may take a little bit of user time here to figure out how we can get this handle to work underneath rather than high so that we can deliver this club face on the correct lie angle so the ball starts indeed where the intended aim is. So on the way down, if the handle's going to get high and you're going to over the top, you're going to hit this. We want to feel that our arms can drop in front of us a little bit our weight's left and that we can quote turn the corner. So what would turning the corner mean? That this handle stays relatively low as it passes us. But the key to it is get our arms down in front of us and then there's the turning of the corner getting this handle around us. So let's hit a little shot here. Letting the club drop down. And that was a good example of letting it drop down and turning the corner. Now I don't expect you to do this at high speed. In fact, do this really slowly. Feel like when you let the club drop down, the hands get down here in front of the right thigh, the right elbow gets long, gets in front of the right hip, and then from here we can let that club turn the corner. Hit another one for you. And I know it's tough to see on camera, but those golf balls are starting pretty appropriately to the face and the target line. So this is Martin Chuck talking about one of the illusions of where the face can be pointing at impact. If you're not aware where that handle is, really, really critical to starting your golf ball on the intended line and playing your best golf. Post your questions and comments down below. I'll get to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.